Hi, I'm Roderick Caselli with Collective Two. Uh, I'm only going to have the camera on for just a brief moment, uh, so it will disappear in just a moment. But welcome to this video, Choosing a Broker uh, on Collective Two. We're going to talk about how to choose a supported broker at Collective Two. But if you're just watching this video real quick on YouTube or you have no idea what Collective Two is, I'm going to go through this in about 90 seconds. So how does Collective Two work? Collective Two is a marketplace of trading strategies. So you sign up for an account, you shop for strategies that meet your criteria, you click a few buttons and turn on those strategies and then they'll place trades automatically in your own brokerage account. Your brokerage account remains self-directed. We're gonna talk about how to uh, look at some brokers in just a moment, that's the point of this video. You're gonna be able to see every trade, you can modify the trades or pull the plug at any time. Here's a look at our leaderboard, a quick look at what the uh, interface looks like. Here's a look at a trading strategy. And then here is some of the benefits of Collective 2. First of all, transparency. Try asking your mutual fund manager to send you a uh, list of current open positions in the Fidelity Magellan Fund. It won't happen. However, on Collective 2, investors can see real-time positions and account values in their own brokerage account for positions that are placed by a strategy. Most of the strategies trade very liquid established markets. Again, you remain in complete control of your account um, and your assets. You never send a check to a money manager or to Collective 2 or any trade leader on the platform. And and then finally, it is flat monthly fees. So there is no management fee, there's no administration fee, there are no performance fees, and finally, there are no markups. So here's how the pricing works. It is free forever to research and simulate on Collective 2. You can only simulate strategies for about 60 days, depending on the strategy, but you can research to your heart's content. We hope you don't do that forever because we think there's something compelling about becoming an investor on the platform. When you're ready to do that, there are two com cost components. There are the subscription fees, which are set by the trade leaders, and those are between 49 and 99 a month. Some are higher, some are lower. And then, then we have an auto trade fee. That is a license that allows you to connect your broker. Again, we'll talk about the brokers in just a moment to the platform and auto trade. So those are the two components. But again, until you're ready to actually uh, connect a live account, you can research and use Collective2 for free. All right, so let's talk about how to see the supported brokers at Collective2. There's a couple ways to get there. The first is on the website. If you haven't yet registered for a free account, you can collect, uh, click create free account right here. And then you come up to more and supported brokers. So let's take our first look at the list of supported brokers. There we go. Okay, so the first uh, broker most prominent is our own platform. It's called C2 Broker, and let's talk a little bit about why you might want to consider it. The first thing to understand about C2 Broker is only available for U.S. customers. We're fortunate to be an international company. We have investors and trade leaders all over the world, but C2 Broker now is only available for U.S. customers. So if you happen to reside in the U.S., then you can use C2 Broker and you can trade options and stock strategies on Collective2 completely commission-free. So it's only stocks and options. So that's the first component that we wanna take a look at here. Pay attention to these little check marks and also make sure you look at the asterisks. We'll go down to the bottom to check out the asterisks and what they uh, mean in just a quick moment. So again, if you're looking to save money on commissions, C2 Broker is a great resource for stocks and options. You can go to c2broker.com. Speaking of that, it is generally good to actually actually hit the open account from this particular page. Uh, you don't want to necessarily go on over to Interactive Brokers or to any of these brokers and just click the open account from that page, not because we receive a referral fee, not because we receive any compensation from the broker for using our link, but it is helpful if we know the source of the traffic. And also it's helpful for the broker to know that you intend, most likely if you're opening an account and you don't have an account at one of these firms, to work with Collective2. Okay, moving on down to interactive brokers. If, uh, if you're not familiar with interactive brokers, large publicly traded uh, brokerage firm, IBKR is the symbol. So they're like your E-Trade or Fidelity or Schwab. They tend to uh, cater a little bit more towards sophisticated investors, but again, on Collective2, you'll most likely be using a trading strategy. So your familiarity with their trading interface and platform is not necessarily uh, needed. It's nice at interactive brokers that you can trade all four major instrument classes, stocks, options, futures, and Forex. However, look at this little asterisk here. You cannot trade Forex at interactive brokers if you're in the United States. So can't trade if you're outside the United States, anything at C2 Broker. If you're inside or domestic, you can't use interactive brokers to trade uh, Forex. Okay, scrolling down a little bit more, I'm just going to highlight one more, which is OANDA, where you can trade Forex, Forex strategies, foreign uh, currency, things like the Euro and the Yen and the Pound. 
And this, uh, our relationship with Oanda is only available for Canadian customers. So only available for Canadian customers. So you can spend a little bit more time looking at some futures only brokers here. Each of them have their advantages and uh, particular people that they cater to. Now, if we come down here, these are the two asterisks that's important to point out. I mentioned uh, that for, uh, Forex is not available to customers in the US, so only for customers outside the US, and auto trading is not available at interactive brokers in Australia. So that brings up a point. Uh, if you see, um, if you're not sure whether uh, your broker is available or interactive brokers is available in the country where you live You can just sort of google it and you can find out if they support uh, or have a, a local presence in uh, the country that you're in um, And it is also important to point out that with these brokers If it's not on this list Then we have done everything we can to try to contact those brokers and have them work with us But at this point we are probably full up since we now offer our own commission-free broker. So if you happen to be a fan of Robinhood, which is a, 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 the first sort of um, commission-free stock and options broker, we now have our own solution to Robinhood. So we probably will not be supporting Robinhood. And Schwab or Fidelity or TD Ameritrade, some other very popular brokers, again, we would very much like to support them. Um, we've had many, many people call and ask to, um, to uh, have them look into Collective 2. But for now, it's uh, it's not likely. So these are the list of brokers that uh, we have right now. So if you don't see it on the list, try to choose one that you do see. We hope we see you inside of C2 uh, connecting your broker very soon. Oh, one last thing I wanted to point out. If you're inside the application, I'm now logged into the application. There are two ways to get to the supported brokers. The first is from the resources right up here, right here to supported brokers and that's going to take you to the website and also you can go to invest auto trade and click supported brokers from right here so that's about it we're pretty small and scrappy around here so feel free to email me directly if you have any questions about supported brokers you can hit me up at rod at collective2.com so remember to always trade like you mean it thanks